Senator Cook. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to thank you all for being here. Um, as sheriff for the last 12 years of Weld County, I obviously have a certain affinity and love for you guys. And uh, I will want you to know this. I will defend you to the death and what you do because that's what you do for us. But I also want to mention probably the most forgotten group of people, the most forgotten group of first responders that really nobody thinks about until something happens. You know, the sheriff of Weld County, I had a patrol division, but I also had a jail. I had 200 deputies that worked inside of a facility, which is the toughest job in law enforcement. Sheriff Sporlock knows what I'm talking about. It's the hardest job, but yet it's the most forgotten job of anyone in law enforcement. They're kind of like the redheaded stepchildren of, uh, of the profession. But again, it's the most difficult job out there in law enforcement. And you say, well, how can they be recognized as a first responder? Well, I'll tell you, they're the complete first responder. They're trained in fire suppression because it's a jail. When it gets on fire, if there's a fire, where are they going to go? They're not going to let the inmates run out the door. So they have to put out the fire or suppress it until the professionals come and do it. They're trained, not to the level of EMTs, but they're trained in medical services because we have suicide attempts in our jails all the time. They have to cut people down when they try to hang themselves. And they have to give them CPR and bring them back to life. We have medical conditions in the jail. And those deputies are trained to help those people that uh, have medical issues to stay alive until the professionals and the EMTs can come. Well, they're also obviously peace officers while inside the facility. And so they have to make the people that can't follow the rules and can't follow the laws follow the rules and the laws while inside the facility. So they are the complete first responder that we have. And I just wanted to say that, I, that we need to recognize them because their sacrifice and service is no less important than our deputies or patrol officers or our firemen and our EMTs that are out on the street. So when you drive by a jail or when you think about what's keeping you safe at night, it's also our corrections side, our corrections deputies that are protecting our people out there. So thank you, Mr. President.